Hello Core Engineering family, in this video we are going to discuss about the basic design engineering package that is also known as the BDEP okay so if you want to become a process engineer or you are a new process engineer so this video is must for you right because if you join any process engineering company or any engineering procurement and commissioning that is EPC company then you will find out that we prepare a one package there is a set of documents which we prepared right so what documents we prepared that time what is the significance of that documents that we are going to discuss in this video that video is very very important if you want to become a process engineer or chemical process engineer so please watch that video completely so that you could get to know about lots of documents and their significance right so first of all let's discuss about that what is the bdep so bdep is basically a set of documents that is prepared during the initial phase of project okay let's suppose your company wins a project okay that is 60 mtpd hydrogen manufacturing plant okay for that plant let's suppose you have to do the engineering procurement and commissioning are you getting my point what i want to say okay so please let me in the comments box what is the meaning of the 60 mtpd 50 percent basis what will be the capacity when i'll write that 60 mtpd 100 percent basis this is the homework for you all right so a process engineer will prepare a bunch of documents during the initial phase of the project that documents or that bunch of documents is called the bdep that is basic design engineering package are you getting my point what i am what am i saying okay let's suppose there was the kickoff meeting and you collect the documents that is the side condition which you could simply ask from the client local norms which is used in their plant or their locality power availability raw materials etc whatever the your like requirement you could ask or you could simply get the details from the client now what you will do a pro what a process engineer will do he will prepare the basic engineering design package documents okay so what are the documents that we are going to discuss in this video so the first document which you will prepare that is the process design basis okay in this process design basis you will define the project you will define the process description in that document there is the lot of the information about the site condition raw material specification product specification then there will be the design and codes there will be the scope of supply there will be the site condition and most of the the complete overview about the your process about the electrical about the piping about the electrical about the instrumentation complete overview will be in the this process design basis i hope you got the point what i want to say then you will prepare the one detailed document about the process description in the process description you will only discuss about the process description means how your process will work what is the technical how of the process what is the work of the each equipment that you are going to discuss in this video right then you will prepare the block flow diagram okay what is the block flow diagram about this i have already uploaded the one video you could simply check it out in the process engineering playlist okay so in the block flow diagram what you will do you will summarize the complete plant into the blocks okay means if let's suppose if there is any newcomers or let's suppose if there is anyone who is not from the technical background so he could also understand that what you are manufacturing and how you are manufacturing okay so this is the block flow diagram then you will prepare the process flow diagram okay so this is the one step ahead from the block flow diagram in that what you will do you will simply show the equipment as well okay equipment as well as the critical control walls you could show here and simply the incoming and outgoing lines or the process line you will show here right and after that you will prepare the heat and material balance okay let's suppose if from this equipment the something is coming 
and something is going to out then the basis and the how much amount of the let's suppose the gases are venting from here how much amount of the liquid or the bottom product which you get from the bottom okay actually this heat and material balance is very very important for you which gives us the information about the quantity how much quantity you are going to feed and how much quantity you are you are you are getting from the top or from the bottom are you getting my point what i want to say then so in the color coding document actually this document gives us the information about the about the color okay like which color you have to do in the equipment okay what is the ral code of that color okay and which color you have to done in the structure which color you have to done in the support in the piping that's all information is you could get from the color coding okay then the equipment list okay in your complete plant which equipments you are going to use what is their capacity what is the size that all information you are going to list in this equipment list there mainly there will be the vessels pumps okay like uh, the instrument parts will not come in this equipment list okay the vessel pumps mainly will be come within this equipment list right then next is pnid okay that is the piping and instrumentation diagram and which is also known as the heart of the process so initially you prepared the block flow diagram okay and for, and after the block flow diagram you prepared the process flow diagram that is pfd okay and after the simulation and and after the heat and material balance and simulation we prepared the piping and instrumentation diagram that is also known as the pnid okay so this pnid is the heart of the process okay the one of the most important document that is pnid why pnid is very very important because from the pnid only you could get to know that which equipment is where means all the detailed information will be there like in, about the instrument about the equipment about the pipeline everything will be there excluding something that we will discuss later right after that we will prepare the equipment process data sheet means you will prepare about the each equipment whatever the equipment you are going to use you will prepare the process data sheet of that equipment like let's suppose if this is your one one vessel then you will prepare the process data sheet of that vessel about the you will give the information about the nozzles about the nozzles about the dimensions about the codes you also provide the design temperature design pressure operating temperature design temperature right so these information is provided by you and that process data sheet will be prepared by the process engineer then we also gave the raw material consumption sheet utility consumption sheet okay then we prepared the after the completion of the pnid you could prepare the instrument process data sheet means about you will prepare the process data sheet of the control wall level transmitter pressure transmitter prv tsv psv afr okay so all the instruments detail you have to prepared within the instrument process data sheet then you will prepare the piping process specification so in the piping process specification means there will be the lots of pipes will have a different application there will be the different moc there will be the different operating temperature design temperature operating pressure design pressure okay so that information is provided in the piping process specification then same we do for the wall process specification because each wall will have the different application there will be some wall which would be used in the cooling water line there will be the another wall that will be used in the hydrogen line okay there will be the other walls that will be used in the air line so on so their specification their operating temperature code operating pressure design temperature design pressure is given in the wall process specification then we prepare the line list then we prepare the wall list so in the line list we provide the information about the each line okay so like like how from where this line is coming and where that line is going so each line has a different name different code and in that line list you could get to know about the about the mocs 
okay then with the help of the pn id the wall list will be prepared and from the wall list wall summary will be prepared okay how much wall you are like you have to purchase which type of the walls you have to purchase what will be the end connection of the data walls complete detail you will get from the wall summary then there is the another document that is the insulation specification if the insulation is using in your plant or in the equipment in the line which type of the insulation you are going to use that is like whether it is cold insulation whether it is hot insulation what is the thickness everything you are going to cover in this specification see specification document then the process control philosophy okay that is also prepared by the your pnid these all documents are prepared with the help of the pnid so that's why i said that the pnid is the heart of the process right what information you provide in the process control philosophy so actually in the process control philosophy whatever the interlocks which you have given what whatever the lts you have given whatever the alarms you have given so everything is included in the process control philosophy means how your process has to be controlled that information is provided in the process control philosophy then interlock descriptions okay let's suppose if you have your pump has to be tripped with the pt that is from the high high pressure or let's suppose it could be with the low low level of the tank okay so that all information is provided in the interlock description as well as in the process control philosophy then there is the alarm list let's suppose if there is the one lt and that lt has the three and four alarms let's suppose that high 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 low 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 so at which point what alarm will come that information is provided in the alarm list then hazardous area classification okay so that document is also very important if there is the hazardous area classification so what area will come in the zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 so that all information is provided there and also that document that document is also very very important with respect to safety as well right then we prepare the dcs graphics that also for that document also pnid will be referred then operating manual how your plant will be run hazard if in your process or if you have to do the hazard so that is also very very important in the hazard what mainly we do we check that is our pnid is okay or not is our plant which we are proposing that is okay or not with respect to safety okay if there is anything comes then we include that in the pnid or in our design consideration right then the site condition document that is the initial document which is also very very important and in the last there is the time points okay there could be the other documents as well like your hold point list etc but these are the major documents which is prepared during the basic design engineering package and after that the detail engineering comes into the picture right so in the next video we will discuss about the each document okay in detail we will discuss about the how the process design basis is prepared how the process description is prepared how the pnid is prepared how the equipment process data sheet prepared how the instrument process data sheet is prepared that we are going to discuss in our upcoming videos i hope you got to know something new from this video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box i'll definitely resolve your problem as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning